We have Solo Sokoa going against the United States Champion Bobby Lashley in a rematch from a few weeks ago. So we have that matchup. We have a four team number one contendership for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. We got we got the Street Profits, the OC, the Creed Brothers, and Pretty Deadly. We got Cena Vega versus Osaka. Kevin Owens, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, against Grayson Waller. And like I said, and Roman Reigns takes on Sheamus. Non-title matchup. Here tonight, we're two weeks away. Three weeks away from Extreme Rules, where Roman Reigns will defend the Universal Championship against LA Knight. This match stipulation has not been determined yet. But let's go ahead and kick off SmackDown here tonight with the United States Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Here comes one dangerous man, Solo Sokoa. Yeah. <laughs> the younger brother of the Usos, but had a far different upbringing when jimmy and jay were getting their start in wwe solo was still getting into fights on the street can he do what few others have done and overpower the almighty no yeah i think i agree with corey on this one Well, this man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. We've seen it so many times when that bell rings, Bobby Lashley flips a switch and on display, we witness his frightening intensity. I mean, frightening power as well, Byron. Everything about Bobby Lashley is just intimidating. Introducing the challenger from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa! And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the WWE. United States Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. This is all for the highly decorated United States Championship. Harley Race, the inaugural champion, truly a tough man's title.
This is all for the right to call yourself the United States Champion. To put yourself in the echelon of John Cena, Ricky Steamboat, Steve Austin, some of the greats of all time. Over 40 plus years of history for the United States Championship and a new chapter is written tonight. Oh. Elbow drop, piercing. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Power bomb. And Sokoa on the receiving end again. Lashley possesses such a dangerous arsenal. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> He's taking this to the floor now. Oh, oh God. What are we about to see? Makes it incredibly difficult to walk. The champ just striking at will. Merciless display towards the challenger. Look at this. Snap suplex. Lashley is just a punishing force. Solo's perseverance being tested. And Sokoa isn't looking helpless anymore. Yeah, Sokoa getting some newly determined focus. The Almighty has certainly earned his moniker. The champion into the cover. Dying a two count there. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Saw that one coming. And he puts a quick stop to these two training one blow after another. Ooh! The fight is on, and it's furious. It looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. To the outside. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Down face first. The power, the dominance. This is who the Almighty is. Sakoa just unable to stop this attack. And that is what Almighty Power is capable of. Lashley has this one firmly in hand. Into the barricade. Vicious right forearm. Big blow could be felt. Throughout the arena. Sokoa. Nothing fancy there. Spinning your Anagi. Savage power coming from Solo. Oh, not to the belly. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Quick return to the ring. Sitching in the hurt lock. The all muck. Cole Nelson locked in pretty good here. Oh, look at the power. That's tremendous power. He gets the break. Rearing way back. Oh, and Spike. The title might change hands. Cover. Kick out. I thought he was finished off for sure. The title still hanging in the balance. Resilience of a champion on display. Uh-oh, winding up. Boom! Samoan spike. The champ eyes were glazed over. He stays alive. He stays alive. We knew it was not going to be an easy task to put the champion away, and that's being... From the top. Fails to hit the bullseye. Cinching in the hurt lock. Lashley with the hurt lock. The almighty one... Retains the title. Here is your winner. Here still the WWE United States Champion, the Almighty Bobby Lashley. Two Samoan spikes. Kicked out of both, Bobby Lashley with the hook lock retains the United States Championship here on SmackDown.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, up next, the huge four-team number one contendership match. The Creed Brothers, the Street Profits, the OC, and Pretty Deli for a shot at Kevin Owens and AJ Styles at Extreme Rules. Here come two superstars made of pure athleticism. The Street Profits are more dangerous now than ever before. Yeah, they may still party, but it's all business first. The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first and a combined weight of 492 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Byron, with the Street Profits out here, I can't even get mad at you. <laughs> All right, Michael, high five. All right, maybe not. Ford and Dawkins are still great athletes with tons of personality, but now they've made hurting people their business. And quite frankly, Byron, it's a necessary evolution for Dawkins and Ford. These two are ready to make the jump to the all-time greats of the tag division. The original, the official, the only club that matters. And their opponents first at a combined weight of 500 and five pounds. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the O.C. You know you are in for an all-out fight facing the O.C. Two men with a high in-ring IQ, high intensity, and high goals to achieve. The O.C. commands respect wherever they go. And their opponents had better be ready to show it. Certainly earn the respect, and they'll take it from anyone who won't give it willingly. The Creeds have arrived. A team whose Making tenacity is rain. without equal. And a combined weight of 515 pounds. Brutus and Julius, the Creed Brothers. The Creeds, athletes who are bound by blood and united by pride. These two just command respect. When they execute a plan, the opposition has nowhere to go but down. It's truly a foolish endeavor to try to match the Creeds move for move. Let's see if the opposition can figure out a different strategy. The most extravagant, flamboyant, eccentric, and gorgeous team in WWE history. And their opponents at a combined weight of 357 pounds. Elton Prince and Kit Wilson, pretty dead.
dominated the NXT UK and NXT Tag Divisions as soon as they arrived. These two have a certain style and a je ne sais quoi opponents just lack. Well, despite their outfits and antics, this is a highly competent and accomplished tag team. Hopefully they can focus on their in-ring work here tonight. They've shown their focus every single match, Saxton. Pretty deadly are everything their name says they are and more. Tag Team Tornado match underway. Multiple teams facing off, but there will only be one winner. Everyone competing at once. You really need to know the status of your partner and every opponent in this match. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. And here's a cover. Back to Angelo Dawkins. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. Return fire from Dawkins. All the way up. Driven down with a side... you up mentally. There's certainly an element of danger inherent in a no disqualification match, isn't there, Corey? More than a lot of people realize. It's not just the superstar in the ring you have to worry about. You have to worry about everyone in the locker room that they're aligned with. The odds in this match can swing with or against you so fast. They're on the table. They're going to take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end. Finishing this thing off. of staying down. Quickly in the cover. Getting the shoulder up. He 
4-2. Still no end in sight here. of showing by this tag team. This win is going to have them on a high for quite some time. I have to believe. Winning's great, Saxton, but they have to start thinking about their next challenge sooner rather than later. 
This win won't be all that matters much longer. What a great matchup here on SmackDown. Pretty Deadly, the new number one contenders for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Zelina up next. Zelina Vega takes on Asaka up next here on SmackDown. The consummate underdog of the women's division, Zelina Vega. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega. Zelina has seen a tremendous amount of success lately. She won the Queen's crown and reformed the LWO. And Zelina's not showing any signs of slowing down. Zelina was no stranger to success before, but now she seems destined for the top. The crowd is on their feet for the Empress of Tomorrow. Charismatic, cunning, and commanding. A superstar in every sense of the word. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Think about this, gentlemen. Asuka has a combined 914 days without defeat in NXT and WWE. And Asuka has remained dominant even after that historical streak. Absolutely unfazed. She just knows how dangerous she is. She is not someone to ever take lightly, and she plans to prove that again tonight. Here we have one of the most unique competitors in all of WWE, Asuka. She has a style all her own and the swagger to match it. Hard to imagine anyone else pulling off one of Asuka's eye-catching outfits. The only thing more colorful than Asuka's ring attire and hair is her approach to in-ring competition. Few superstars are as dynamic and original between the ropes as the Empress of Tomorrow. Between her in-ring skills and her fashion sense, it's no wonder Asuka has captivated the WWE Universe since the day she arrived here. And fighting out of the opposite corner, Zelina Vega. She has an unmatched passion for the fight. She might be on the smaller side, but that amount of passion adds three feet to her height. When Zelina is locked in on her opponent, she's insurmountable. Her focus on winning is unshakable at times. We know that Asuka has more than enough fighting spirit in her core. Is that enough for her here tonight, Corey? Will this be enough? And she kicks out at two. Close call. That was almost lights out. Ooh. Dangerous stop right to the face. She's taking some big hits here. Taking flight. Body splash. Return fire from Zelina. Into the corner. This can't be good. Beautiful. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. 
Oh, and that buys some time. Being carried around with ease. Going oh, right to the throat. Oh, that's a kick that would leave you gasping for air. Quick save. That's one of my all-time favorites. The Octopus Strip. Oh, this is unique. Oh, man, what a counter. Great escape. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. And she escapes the submission. Oh, man. Ooh, what a four-hour club. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. That is just insulting. And we might be about to go from commentator to participants in this one, fellas. Ooh. Look at this. Incredible Whoa. to the German. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. Oh. Springboard misses the target. Oh, foot just stomping down. Uh-oh, arms are trapped. No way to protect themselves. Look at all these oh arm stops. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. <laughs> Drop kicked all the way to the floor. <sighs> she slips outside. What has she got in mind? Oh, targeting the stomach. Turning the tables. <laughs> Textbook side rush and leg sweep. Oh, just raining down punches. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. So take things into the ring. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Look at this. Oh no, crashing hard onto the floor. I don't care how bold you are, missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. Sky high, and Asuka gets stopped in her tracks. Ooh, look at her answering back. Looking to cinch in the Dragon Sleeper. It's applied, hands locked in the rear. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one. And she breaks free just in time. Oh, look at... Rapid fire stops to the back. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle. There it is. Oscar's your winner. Here is your oh, winner. Reminding her that she did not come here yeah. to play games. The out-of-the-ring count getting the best of them tonight. The winner looks a bit let down that this is the way the match ended. Perhaps they should have tried to break the count at the end there. Osaka gets a huge win. Over Zelina Vega here tonight on SmackDown. All right, here we go. Kevin Owens, Grayson Waller up next. Here comes KO.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Merrillville, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 266 pounds. One half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Kevin Owens. My very first night on commentary was Kevin Owens' very first night in NXT. Since then, he has gone on to have a Hall of Fame-worthy career in a relatively short period of time. A man who looks about ready to stun the world right now. He's pretty much stunned every Raw or SmackDown superstar there is. Grayson Waller is in full effect. You think he could maybe dial it down to half? And his opponent from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller. Well, Grayson Waller never met a superstar or rule that he got along with. Certainly has his own way of doing things, and it's risen his stock very quickly here in WWE. Soon we'll all be feeling the Grayson Waller effect and loving it. Uh, speak for yourself. And here's Grayson Waller, a very divisive and very talented young superstar, in my opinion. He rubs a lot of people the wrong way, but I find the honesty refreshing. He's in it for himself, for the riches, for the spotlight. Into the pin attempt. Two. Kick out. Close to three. Just barely, but it counts. Here it comes. Neckbreaker. damage to the whole body. Oh, no. He could be caught here. Bad spot for him. Impre nice escape. Ooh. Ooh. And he's able to reverse. Set up in the corner of the ring. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. And Wallace put his money where his mouth is there. Yeah, as you can see, the disregard Owens has for his opponent. Kevin Owens has done a lot over the course of his lengthy career, but with a storied career like his, also comes a history of injuries. In particular, KO's ankle has proven to be a weak point. If KO's opponent has their wits about them, they'll focus attacks on his lower body to limit his mobility. Hard to argue with that strategy. Some focused fire on places where Kevin Owens has suffered injury in the past could prove debilitating for KO. Neckbreaker! Oh, look at the knees! Burying knees into the body! That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Uh-oh. Suicide! Die! Whatever it takes to win. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. And he finds an answer for Waller. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Kevin Owens is in the zone and letting the opposition know it. Look out! Clean shot sent on to the outside. Pinpoint precision right on target. Big splash. That was more splatter than splash. Absolutely spiked. DDT. He may be in a bad way here. And it's like KO only gets more aggressive as the fight goes on. Harlem sidekick. He needs to find his way back into the ring. 
the count just keeps going up. Thrown back in under the ropes. He's got him down. Is this it? He kicks out with authority. Could be in search of a second win now. Waller wasting no motion on the counter. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Oh, what a right hand in that wall. Somersault on Grittier. Cover. There's two. He gets the shoulder up at two. He's determined to keep the... Uh-oh. Stun. Owen stun. Will that close Waller out? Cover. Two. Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. Where in the world is he getting this from? His beating heart will not be stopped. And KO is pissed off. That kick out just slid an even bigger fire under Owens. Goodness gracious. Look at this. Just stop after stop after stop. And it looks like Waller's bleeding after that. The body is starting to fail at this point. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. German suplex! Look at Owens, top rope. Taking flight. Oh! Kevin Owens is in command right now. Just like we talked about maximizing the effect of Kevin's attacks thanks to focused fire from past injuries. Right to the back of the neck. Kevin Owens with a package power bomb. This is how far KO is willing to go to put himself on the line to put food on the table. Owen's not afraid to mock his opponent both behind their back and to their face. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. A bit of provocation. He grew tired of his smug attitude. Grayson falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Waller's got to find a window to fight back. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Uh-oh. Stunner! KO about to sew this up. That's got to be it. Two. Oh, picking up the victory as his opponent does his best. Saxton stares up at the lights. Here is your Tonight, KO is too much. Your winner, Kevin Owens. From fight Owens fight to win Owens win. The prize fighter definitely earned his winner's purse tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. And we may have no other option but to acknowledge him.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! Over 1,200 plus days as Universal Champion, the third longest reigning world champion in WWE history. Three plus years of dominance. Dozens of successful title defenses. Yeah, it's got to feel like pure intimidation when you are facing Roman Reigns. It may even feel like victory is virtually impossible. Reigns is firmly established as the head of the table and has no intention of being unseated. He needs to transform into a one-man battalion in order to take on the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. I'm not sure that's going to be enough to overcome Sheamus. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Looking at the career of Sheamus, he's been successful in both singles and tag team competition. Now the Celtic Warrior can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone who steps up to him. Just look at Roman Reigns, as focused as ever here tonight. Reigns is arguably the most explosive superstar in the business today. Yeah, I've been in the ring with Roman before, and his offense truly hits you like a ton of bricks. And that was early in his career. So just imagine how it must feel now. Safe to say that Reigns redefines the term hard-hitting every time that bell rings. And he better be ready for an all-out fight. Sheamus doesn't concern himself with pomp and circumstance. Yeah, Corey, Sheamus wastes no movement when he's in the ring. Everything he does is with purpose and intent. Canadian. Now the backbreaker. This is excruciating. Oh, what an escape. Oh, that can shatter a jaw. 
The Tribal Chief has it cinched in from a slip. He is in serious trouble here and finds his way out. Delicious power slam. He reverses it. Shoulders down. This could be it. Just kicks out. He really thought that was it. Steer clear of that. Sheamus loves the methodical style. If there's one thing Sheamus can do, it's brawl. The Celtic Warriors more than happy to oblige going toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone and turn their body into a heavy bag. Oh, my gosh! Oh, what the my God! Carefully measured knee drop. Reigns' lack of mercy being met in kind there. Yeah, as Sheamus was clearly bringing the fight to him there. Seamus loves to fight, so a part of him might be happy that this one isn't over. And able to counter. That didn't look good for Seamus. Yep, he's busted open now. Right in the face. My God. Reigns heads up. This is going to be good. respect these men for taking it to the next level. This one's becoming too close to call. It's hard to predict how this one will end. Jameis has got him right where he wants him. Here we go! Oh, inspiring power by the 
Celtic Warrior. Black Cross, that'll do it. Wow. Sheamus got all of it. Makes the cut. Great officiating. As the ref noticed, he was on the ropes. Delivers the knee. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not going to be good. Put your right to sleep. And you can tell Sheamus is savoring every moment of this. Dominance personified. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Reigns with a schoolboy, not done yet. Lifted up as a power. Oh. In my word, this has been a match for the ages. This has been a monumental affair. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me. No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, man. They do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Superstar trying to prove just ambushing from behind with a kendo stick. 